Mistakes make you a winner, not a failure. Mistakes show us all the ways not to do it so that we can do it eventually, so that we can do it the right way. And seeing many mistakes is also great to, to, for becoming a teacher because when you see, when you understand a mistake, when you understand that you've also made that mistake in the past, <clears throat> you know what not to do. You know how to redirect your students to the right location. And likewise, the teaching, you know how to, you know, redirect your mind, redirect your, your hands, or, you know, just redirect your, your mind to knowing which way is the proper way to go whenever you're, you know, whenever you're drawing. And so they say the difference between a master and a student is that a master has made multiple mistakes to get to where they, they're at. So as you're on that path to improvement, understand that mistakes are nothing to be to be afraid of mistakes are something to to embrace don't think of mistakes as mistakes think of mistakes as it takes you to the right direction so to say and so personally whenever i do make a mistake whenever i'm sketching or drawing you know sketching sketching gives you like a free it frees your mind it's like therapy it, it makes you you know be more accepting of your mistakes when you're when you're sketching and you're not working on something that's finalized when you're sketching you're free to do whatever you want when you're sketching this is like your your practice your practice state you know your meditative state your warm-ups th those are the sketches and what i also find that will help you be free from you know really crit criticizing you know your mistakes and you know is learning or doing the act of gesture drawing gesture drawing now gesture drawing is like an emotional aspect of art and it also can help improve your speed as well and gesture drawing it really <clears throat> what gesture drawing does is that it captures the motion of whatever you're drawing as opposed to the contour so that you know, the, the brain automatically re registers what's going on in the human body. However, we we get in our own way by overthinking what's happening. And so we are, we're trying too hard. With gesture drawing, it's like a practice or an act of of not, not trying so hard. You know, getting in tune with your emotional state. And I feel that can also help to alleviate the uh, the mistake fear. Or fear of making mistakes or becoming more accepting of your mistakes and so whenever I do make a mistake you know I'm not even thinking about it you know I just it's just it's just a natural part of my growth you know if I if I make something you know incorrect I'm like I'm automatically you know just fixing it or you know looking at ways to you know improve it or looking at proper ways to do it i'm not like lingering on the mistake i'm just i'm just moving on i'm going to the next level the mistake already showed me what i needed to know so that i can move on you know to to look for different avenues to get to the the correct route and so that'll be the video. Thank you guys for watching. This is the Ogano Art Family connecting the art family together. Uh, and feel free and make as many mistakes as you want. Because this is all the process of becoming, you know, your greatest version. You know, your greatest version of, of an artist or, or, or a person. You know, whatever you like. So yeah, now we do video. Peace. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to go down below and hit the red subscribe button and as well hit the bell button next, next to it to get notified for when uh, I upload new videos. And down below in, in the description I have a Discord chat and within this Discord chat I provide drawing references that I found all around the internet in my own personal notes. And you can also share artwork with other members of the Ogana Art family. And so, peace.